Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Christina. I am in a different setting. I am obviously sitting on the floor, as you can see <laughs> from this carpet. Um, it is a very gray and overcast day, and I am sitting inside of our bedroom, inside of our big window, and this is the best light that I can get in the house right now. So, yeah. Um, I want to go ahead and apologize in advance. I am 35 weeks pregnant and sitting on the floor. So you will hear some heavy breathing <laughs> throughout this video. Um, sorry about that, but your girl's got to breathe. Um, anyway, so um, a f I want to say it was, was it a month ago? I can't really remember. I had posted my initial setup of my personal wide planner. In that video, I was in a purple Epoca Giglio Campania in personal wide. Um, and I have since sold that and moved into this anthracite um, Epoca leather instead. I found this on Mercari. And guys, this is gorgeous. I have looked and eyed the looked at and eyed the anthracite for so long on the website but i've hesitated because i'm a person that prefers warm tones um and i was afraid that this anthracite might be too cool for me but um and it's not showing up true to color through the viewfinder but guys this has like a warmer undertone um it has like a brownish purple undertone it's very hard to explain but guys it is gorgeous and look at this texture it is stunning so if you've been contemplating whether or not to get the anthracite i say go for it um, because it is much prettier in person i have yet to find a video or a photo that shows um, the true color of this beauty all right so i haven't been in personal wide now for um a month and a week yeah, like five weeks. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. So I want to go ahead and show you what my set setup looks like now. Um, I keep this pretty simple here in the front. I don't like to bulk this up too much because it can bulk up the planner even more than it already is. <laughs> but I've got a card from my husband, um, some freebies that I got from Queen City Design Co., Sparkly Peach Co. And then I have these transparent stickers that I use inside of my planner. And these came from queen city design co some co postcards over here and then this came from my pocket planner that i used last summer um and i just put little semicolon tabs that um i use throughout my throughout the planner just so i can get to things quickly ollie clip and then a note from my husband Okay, I know a lot of people are on the hunt for vinyl dashboards. The go-to used to be Foxy Fix, but I'm not really sure what's going on if she's like temporarily closed or permanently closed. But I have found vinyl dashboards from Cat Espresso Co. I will link her down below. Um, this has the two top-loading pockets, which are fabulous. And I'm sorry about the glare from the window, but um, I just put a lot of cuteness in here. Um, pictures of my son, our um, latest ultrasound from the baby. Oh my gosh, this picture just makes me laugh every single time. I had done an Instagram filter with my son. We were laughing so hard and I like took a screenshot of the video and then printed it out and put it in here because it just makes me so happy. It is just so funny. More cuteness on the back. And then this dashboard came from Sparkly Peach Co. I love this thing. It is so pretty. And then all of my dividers that you see here from came from Sparkly Peach Co. as well. So this first section is going to be my notes section. I've got some pretty acetate from the Crescent Planner. Vellum from the Crescent Planner. This is from Lola Michelle Fine Art on Etsy. I will link all of the shops down below, guys. But this um, is a postcard. I believe she's Hobonichi Daily on Instagram, but I just love her artwork. Um, and I just hole punched it here, and then I put some post-its on the back. This came from my sister's shop, Bloom Design Co. No, Bloom Design Studio. Oh, my goodness. Um, and then she hand-lettered this for me picture of my son and then a whole bunch of notes pages so I just like 
it's just notes, literally. I need to clean some of this out though. Um, these are notes pages from SM Plans. I believe these are for summer florals. This was a freebie from Plan With B. And then more notes pages. It's just a bunch of notes, notes pages. I was like doing pen testing over here. Bunch of notes, bunch of notes. And I have a few notes pages left. This to buy is from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I might take this out. I'm not really using it, honestly, but it's just there. The next section is my monthly. And, oh my God, this, oops, of course, I just like destroyed that. Okay, this is so freaking funny. Um, these stickers <laughs> from Once More With Love, um, they say, calm your tits. And I just think that is just so funny. And I keep them in here because I think they're cute. Then sticky, and then this quote card is like forever old. I just move it from planner to planner. Sticky notes from Virgo and Paper. And then, so this is my monthly section. This is the yearly overview from SM Plans. And I put those transparent stickies at the end of the month when it's all done. So I know what month we're on. And then here is a pullout from Peanuts Planner Co. And I put birthdays and anniversaries on here. And there's the rest of the year. This vellum is from Queen City Design Co. And then here we are to my monthlies, SM plans. So here is January, February. And then of course, here we are on March, this bookmarker is from Ashley Designs. I'm sure you guys have seen it many, many times and many other planners. I just love the bow like hanging up, hanging over the top. It's just so cute. And I pre-plan on post-its or sticky tabs. Um, our plans are constantly changing and I don't like to write them permanently on the month until I'm setting up the month, if that makes any sense, because things change and I don't want to have a messy monthly. <laughs> if that makes any sense. All right, so that's the end of the monthlies. And then this came from Cat Espresso Co. I, I think this is made out of jelly paper. I could be completely wrong. But um, it is, it has like the side loading dash on this side and on the back a little secretarial pocket where I put some cute stickers. This is just, ah, it's just so cute. I love it. This came from Queen City Design Co. Manifest. That shit. <laughs> I love that. It's just so cute. All right. And then this is my weekly. Um, classy, sassy, and a little bit badassy. This is Vellum from Queen City Design Co. Picture of my son. And when I first moved into this, I was using the week on two page, um, which was working out really well. But I've moved my dailies out of here into a B6 Stalogy. So I was finding that I didn't need such, like I didn't need all of this room for a weekly. So I was using the week on two page true, I believe is what SM, Plan, SM Plans calls it. And then I moved to her week on one page brush stroke um inserts and these are awesome so there's just enough room for me to write down any plans that we have or anything that i need to get done like film a video on wednesday um three like my three top items that i don't want to forget some to do's to get done during the week and then i'll write down a quote this was last week this is from ashley Lee designs a little bookmarker and here we are on this week um, there's things that I just like really want to get done this week. So I wrote down those, um, here instead of writing a quote. So these are working out really well. And I have several of those printed out. So I was using dailies in here for a while. These beautiful notes pages are from Annie Plans Printables. And I just have printed out a whole bit, like a whole bunch from her like this was the floral I think this is plant lovers I can't remember the exact names but it is on her website um and I was I was really enjoying this but I moved out of using the daily pages in here 
so yeah though that's all the dailies that i have and then this was a freebie from once more with love the next is going to be mom boss this is like all anything to deal with home my son, my husband, my doggy, <laughs> all that stuff. How cute are these stickers? So I just need to show you. My sister made these for me. Um, let me see if I can find that photo. Where is the photo? Did I put it over here in the front? I just want to show you. Okay. Yep. So this is the picture of my son that my sister turned into a sticker. Like, what? That is just so cute. And then that's my dog, Murphy. Um, And so this is the mom boss section. I cannot remember where I got this. I want to say it's M Designs by M on Etsy. Um, just some vellum that I print out myself. This is from Queen City Design Co. And this is like anything to do with my home and my family. So these are the cleaning schedule inserts from Simple simple and trendy co and i am loving using these so far this is the first month that i'm using them you put your daily tasks cleaning tasks up here your weekly tasks and then things that you need to do monthly there's more things that i need to add in but because this is the first month that i'm using it um i'm just kind of like filling things in as i figure out my proper cleaning schedule but i'm loving it and I have just a few of those in here. Yep, vellum. I cannot remember where I got this. I think I got it from like Hobby Lobby. And the next one, I'm not going to show you the front part of it, but it is important contacts. I have like my son's school, our pediatrician number, um, car detailing and servicing, uh, uh, OB, phone number, everything on that um, is on this insert from Annie Plants Printables. This is the health log from S Implants. So that's for my son, for Kai. I have family medical information, which is, I need to fill out more of them, but I'm the only one in my family that uses like medication daily for asthma. So whenever I go somewhere, they ask me like what my dosage is and I can't remember. So I'm using that for that. I put a little tab up here to mark off home projects. So. As I said, I'm 35 weeks pregnant, preparing for baby. So this is like a list for baby needs, declutter list, nursery list. Um, I want to put together a recipe book of our favorite recipes. So writing down those and then extra list pages. These are from Annie Plans Printables. I also have her celestial one. Um, I have a little YouTube tab here for like YouTube ideas. But here are her celestial list so like moon and stars obviously um and i just have a few of those list pages another vinyl dashboard from Cutspresso co just have some cuteness in here this is kelly ava designs this beautiful collage vinyl sticker came from adventure denali more cuteness um and then the next section i have I call CFO and I believe I got that idea from SM plans. Um, this is just anything finances um, for us and our family. I want to show you these cute stickers. These are so cute. These are from Bello XO planning. Um, these are just, <laughs> they're just so funny. This little mouse critter is just the cute, not today. Satan with, she's got like a little cheese and a little um, mouse trap. It's like just so cute. Love it. So I have that clipped here on, and I've clipped together my used inserts because I'm just not going to show you that. But I have these monthly bill inserts from SM Plans. I literally just every month I will write down our bills, cross them off as they come out of our account. And also I total everything at the end of the month because some of our bills do fluctuate like our water bill, our energy bill, all that stuff. And I want to see how much we are spending monthly. All right, and then I clipped together more inserts, but these are my payment tracker inserts also from SM Plans. And I just have one for like our furniture bill, our credit card bill, just to track payments. And then the next section is, I just, well, it's still part of the financial um, section, 
but this bookmarker separates those like household bills from my own like spending trackers so this is from Ashley Lee Designs and then I just have a check register monitoring my own spending on my stuff I printed this out I don't know how I'm going to use this yet because I'm using the tr the check register from SM Plans but maybe what I'll do here is like set a budget and then do that I'm not really sure so anyway I have that in here to test out and then I have online orders from SM Plans I like keeping track of my orders because some places like have three to four week turnaround time and sometimes I forget and then these are the sorted list from SM Plans. I believe these are freebie in her group. And I've been selling some things. So what I'll do is I'll write down the item. If I posted it to sell, if I sold it, if I sent it, and if I got paid. And then I just cross it off. These are great. And I have another one of those printed out. And then the final section, which is, I would say my fattest section, is my personal section. Um, so what I got here is, um, a dashboard from Sparkly Peach Co. that says Surrender. That's my word of the year. So pretty. And then this dashboard is from Queen City Design Co. And these inserts haven't been used yet. I got this idea from SM Plans and I really liked it, but she does like a monthly overview where she writes down big wins small wins any events that happen in the month and I have two types of inserts in here I have the fold out from peanuts planner co or I can also use the yearly overview from sm plans I'm not really sure what I'm going to use at the end of the month but we shall see I have both of those printed out for those like small wins big wins monthly overview stuff and then I have these monthly plan inserts from SM Plans. I use these inside of my pocket um, last year and I really enjoyed them. So, yep, I've got like my focus for the month, goals that I'm trying to achieve, and then like anything that I'm tracking that is goal specific. So I'm really enjoying that. And then I have every single month of the year printed out in here. So got that. I can't remember where I got this from, but it's cute. And then I've got my tracker. These are from SM Plan. So here's February. And then here we are on March. And then I've got the rest of the year printed out. I'm probably going to take these out. These are like step trackers. I, I don't know. I'm not using it, as you can see. Like, I haven't updated it at all. I might use them again once I have the baby and I'm like trying to be more active and stuff but we'll see and then this uh, vellum is from queen city design co and then we go on to the gratitude section of my planner and this sticker came from virgo and paper and i just write something that i'm thankful for each day and these inserts are from sm plans and i have an insert for every month Next, I'm using these menu and workout inserts from Penis Planner Co. I love these inserts. So I do log everything that I eat. I'm just getting in the rhythm and the habit of doing that um, so that after the baby comes, I can, you know, lose some weight. And then I had in my last video, I had actual like monthly inserts for my meal plan, but that was just like way too much. So what I do instead is I use this little section here to write down our meal plan for the week. That's last week. And here we are on this week. See, semicolon tab so I can get to here easily. And then I have several of those inserts printed out. Health log for myself doctor visits these are great inserts um i am getting to starting today actually i have an appointment but i'm um, down to weekly visits at the ob and any questions that i have i will write down in this little section here and make note of things for each appointment these are great so these are peanuts planner co-inserts book log um, i just reprinted this and i need to fill it out 
Then I have this clipped together because the last insert is my passwords, which I'm obviously not going to show you, but that is from SM Plans. This cute jelly thing is again from Catspresso Co. This was a freebie from her picture of me and my son after he was born. And this is just so cute. And then I got this page lifter from a shop on Etsy from the UK. I will link it down below. And then nothing really back here. I just stick some papers back here. Do I have anything back here right now? Maybe some bills I need to clear out. I am using, this is like a Franken pen, you guys. This is the Zebra Sarasa Grand pen, but the ink inside of it is the Sharpie 0 0.7, the Sharpie pen. Um, I just really like that ink. Let me, I know I'm going to get questions about the clips I have on top. So this clip here, this pink one, is Peony's Papery. And then these two cute clips, let me just take them out, are from Kelly Ava Designs. Like, they are darling. I just love them. So, uh, yeah. This was a very long and detailed video. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> um, let me show you. I'm not going to do a flip through, but let me just show you really quick. This is a black matte Croco B6 Apunto with my B6 Stalogy in here. Um, this is what I'm using for dailies so that I don't have to carry this huge thing everywhere I go. This just stays home. Look how chunky she is. I just bring this with me in my bag. Um, and then at the end of every single day, I transfer any notes or anything that I have in here into the personal wide um, just so that everything is like I don't have just a whole bunch of things in many different places if that makes any sense so if you would like me to do a flip through I'd be happy to of my basic astrology just let me know it's just it's so simple that there's nothing really to show but you know I like flip throughs of any type of planner <laughs> so if that's something you guys would like to see let me know in the comments all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below, or you can follow me on Instagram at the Miss Mrs. The Whoa, uh, on Instagram at the Miss Mrs. Mom, um, and you can DM me there as well. And um, yeah, I would love it so much if you guys subscribe to my channel so you can get some more fun goodness on planners, bags, the works. Um, all right, so I'm going to go now and get a drink of water and attempt to stand up. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye.